Arthur finally recovered from the injuries caused by the Black Knight, but great sorrow fell upon the king, for the royal sword had become broken and lost. Without the glorious sword of Brittany, he feared that his throne would be further challenged. Don't worry, your majesty. Good may come out of evil. What good can come after such a great loss? The sword of Britain has fulfilled its role and brought you here, but now we will go in search of the sword that will lead you to greatness. Arthur and Merlin set off in search of the weapon that would change the lands of England forever. They arrived at the shores of a lake covered by mists. Merlin opened his arms and began to chant in the language of the ancient peoples of Brittany. Impressed, Arthur felt the wind getting stronger and stronger as Merlin sang. The gust of wind Merlin caused forced the mists to dissipate, revealing an unusual scene. In the middle of the lake, a female hand was holding a sword just above the water level. Whose arm is that, holding such a wonderful sword? She is one of the ladies of the Lake of Avalon, women gifted with the magic of the ancient peoples. Isn't the legendary citadel of Avalon just a legend? That's what priests and bishops want people to think. Finally, Merlin, I thought this day would never come. Hello, Vivane. Who are you? I feel as if you are from another world. I am Vivane, Lady of Avalon, and leader of the Ladies of the Lake. Despite our differences, we share the same world. With your help, I hope we will continue to share it. My wish is only to ensure the peace of all the peoples of Great Albion. Your intention seems sincere, and that is why you will have Avalon on your side. Look at this sword. Its name is Excalibur. Its destiny is to belong to the man who will bring a golden age to all Brittany. If you think you are this man, Row to the Lady of the Lake and she will judge you to see if you are worthy to have the sword. If you are not, she will take you to the bottom of the lake, where you will perish." Arthur bravely pushed the boat back into the water and began rowing toward the sword. Arthur stretched out on the bow, attempting to reach the sword. But just as he managed to grab it, the lady gripped his wrist tightly and her eyes glowed frighteningly like embers. She pulled him under the water and said to him, Make yourself worthy of that sword. Arthur, frightened and drenched, returned to the surface with the sword in his arms. The king took the sword out of its sheath and felt an immense power, something he had never felt in his life. I hope you are right about this new pupil of yours for the fate of all Brittany will be in his hands. When Arthur returned to the riverbank, the fairy Vivane had already left. And now, my king, what shall we do? Now the time has come for my revenge. Arthur and Merlin rode again to the forest of the Black Knight. Arthur got down from his horse and challenged the Black Knight to a sword duel, since the king had no spear for jousting. Pelinor was known as one of the best swordsmen in the region and gladly accepted the challenge. The fight began and Arthur fought with great courage and confidence. This was amazing considering the last duel between them where he was almost killed by his opponent. With one strong blow, Arthur knocked the knight's sword out of his hand. Disarmed and powerless, the knight had no choice but to surrender. I don't know where you got that magnificent weapon. With it, you look like a new man. I am Pelinor, the dethroned king of Listinois. If you spare my life, I swear that my family and I will be loyal to you. I know that you have rebelled against me in the past, but my kingdom is now entering a new cycle, where unity will give way to division. So, it will be an honor to have such an experienced knight at my side. After reconciling with King Pelinor, Arthur and Merlin decided to return home. What do you think of your new sword? 
it is simply magnificent. But tell me, do you like the sword better or the sheath? The sheath is beautiful, but obviously I like the sword better. It is much more valuable. You are wrong. Although it is a superb sword, the sheath is even more valuable. How can it be more valuable than the sword? This sheath is enchanted, and he who has it will never die in combat. Even if you are seriously wounded, you will not die. Take good care of this sheath, for your life will be safe as long as you have it. Arthur and Merlin arrived in Camelot, and their army was ready by order of Sir Ulfius. One of his allies was in danger, and only Arthur could save him from his enemies.